Hi, this is Rex from Logan Library at Schreiner University. And today we're going to be looking at uh, database basics. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is go to databases and uh, databases by subject. And let's use EBSCO uh, Academic Search Complete. This is a really large database, so uh, it's a good place to start. The first thing we notice is we have three different boxes for text to enter our terms. But before we want to do that, we want to hit full text so we can ensure that we get the full article. And then we want to hit scholarly journals. Uh, these are peer reviewed um, and are the best to support your, support your paper. Let's say I'm doing a paper on, um, on British Pro Petroleum, BP, and oil spills. Um, let's just put a couple terms in here. So I'm going to use the abbreviation BP and I'm going to hit subject terms and next I'm going to put the word spill in and I'm also going to use subject terms for that and we're going to hit search okay so it looks like we have 32 results um, for articles that have the tags BP and spill um, these articles range from 2010 to 2011 so they're they're recent and makes me think that they're related to the recent oil spill so let's select one and see how we can get the article okay so here we have all the information about the article here are the tags for the article this is how we found it there's spill BP and this is the abstract this is going to tell you about the article it's it's going to describe what the article is about and this is a lot easier to read than um, multiple articles that are umpteen pages long so let's say that we want to we want to read this article and we want to use it for our paper there's a couple ways to get the article over here on the left hand side we have the PDF full text link and by opening that we're going to get the article which we can print or we can take notes from there's another way to do this and on the right side is email link click on that and the, the nice thing about this feature is that we can have our citations formatted for us so by hitting this radio button and we can open this drop down we can select the particular citation format that your professor wants uh, APA, MAA, um, MLA over here just enter your email address and and subject it could be BP oil spill article uh, something that will remind you what it is when it hits your inbox and that's it for today thanks